homeboy Ash um, commented on a video it said up uh, that how long do you cycle and basically how frequently here's what you want to do as far as duration of cycles for your physicians information this is not me I like this is to help out the uh, chiropractors and the uh, hormone clinics basically when taking LTD RAD 140 um, LGD 4033 RAD 140 S4 Osterin or um, those are the basic main ones six weeks on one week off to allow the receptors to cleanse and for your test to recover now after the six weeks on one week off then the fish frog monkey mouse or the person that the physician has told you physicians need to switch compounds on the seventh week the reason being is tolerance will be built to one compound and it will not be as effective it's just like taking any other type of pill like if someone was taking a pain pill at first one's great after about six weeks then you need two and then you'll need four and then you'll need eight and you'll need 16 and it loses tolerance and damage is in the dosage so we want to switch the compounds to keep the body out of homeostasis and improving. Now, that is for people that are not on TRT. If the patient is on TRT, then the dosage can be much longer and keeping at a low dose should be just as effective as doing a blast without the toxicity of the blast. Now, SR9009 has to have plenty of hydration, but you do not run the risk of any type of suppression or shutdown because it's not hormonal at all. You do run the risk of having kidney issues if they aren't adequately hydrated. S23, YK11 will shut you down. They're, they're that strong. So there's going to be a different post cycle there you still want to do like six weeks on and then post cycle with something now if you're on TRT that doesn't matter so they can be cycled longer at a low dose now furthermore um, MK2 or 677 can be cycled for as long as needed as long as they are rebuilding cartilage and tendons and joints and things like that so I hope that helps thanks